In the United States, the era of the bedroom suburb is over. In metropolitan areas across the country, Americans now commute more in between suburbs rather than from a suburb to a city center. Given the predominance of suburban travel, Big Box Biofuel tests the viability of retrofitting vacant suburban Big Box stores with algae biofuel production and distribution infrastructure. Why Big Box Stores? For algae biofuel to be a viable fuel alternative, it needs cheap, flat, modular production space that is already networked into national and state highway systems. Millions of square feet of Big Box development were left vacant, abandoned, or foreclosed due to the economic crisis of 2008. Yet these abandoned facilities are located in favorable locations with cost-efficient and convenient access to highways and proximity to population growth areas. In fact, these characteristics are exemplified in Walmart, as 60% of America lives within 5 miles of a Walmart store. Walmart alone accounts for nearly 200 vacant big boxes with over 1,200 acres of reusable logistical space through their stores and distribution centers. All types of reusable big boxes were considered for retrofitting in this project, from retailers like Walmart to Home Depot, Lowe's, and other chains that consume massive footprints linked to highway systems. What kind of biofuel would be most appropriate for an abandoned big box store? While multiple energy sources exist, algae biofuel has advantages because it is renewable, inexpensive, grows on waste nutrients, does not compete for arable land, and has a high biomass yield, producing 1,000 to 6,500 gallons of oil per acre per year. Plus, interest in algae is surging in the United States. Since 2008, private capital firms have invested approximately $1 billion into algae. Government interest is also surging. Under the Obama administration, the Department of Energy released a roadmap in 2010 marking algae as the potentially preferred feedstock for liquid transportation fuels. So what would a big box biofuel design look like? Algae biofuel could be grown under sunlight in transparent plastic tanks called photobioreactors, more traditionally in open ponds or even in closed fermentation tanks within the big box. Trucks can easily service the big box using the existing circulation and transportation infrastructure. Meanwhile, cars could fuel up at electrical charging stations without significant energy loss through transmission. For even more energy harnessing, solar panels and wind turbines could be integrated into the site, depending on local conditions. A designated radius of neighborhoods near each big box would receive algae biofuel made from their own wastewater, creating a closed loop. Overall, each acre of big box biofuel could provide enough carbon-free fuel for about 50 people a year, with much less impact on its surroundings than fossil fuel energy production. In 2009, Big Box Biofuel was selected as a finalist for Dwell Magazine's Reburbia Design Competition. In 2013, it was exhibited at the Shenzhen Bi-City Biennale of Urbanism and Architecture. And in 2014, it will be exhibited at the International Architecture Biennale in Rotterdam.